Hello, welcome to this week's Turf Tips. So as usual, I'm Todd Hicks, the Turf Grass Pathology Group. This week's weather pattern looks like for the next 10 days, 45 to 50 degree nights, which we're all going to enjoy. And on the upside, it looks like we're not going to reach, uh, at least in central Ohio, 78 is going to be about the highest we're going to have for the next 10 days. So it looks like beautiful fall weather for now. Hold on to your hats. It's hard to tell what the rest of fall or false fall will look like for us. What that means on the disease front. As always, our old uh, arch nemesis dollar spot, it will still struggle or uh, stagger around uh, some of your weaker areas, some of your areas you haven't treated, uh, the roughs, the outside areas, the high cut. That still may um, see a little bit of dollar spot, not a whole lot, not with this weather pattern. If we get a few days where the daytime temps heat up, we, we could see it increase, but uh, we're not really looking at uh, as, uh, that being a threat right now. Um, with this weather pattern, it looks like most other diseases are going to go to rest for now. Uh, Northern Ohio, we're still hearing some things uh, about fighting Pythium. As I've said before in some of these other turf tips, please make sure it's Pythium. If you have any doubt whatsoever, use a product that hits Pythium and Brown Patch. We've had a lot of misdiagnosis this year. Um, we're having pathologists, uh, Joe and myself, have looked at things that we'd almost swear and put money on that were Pythium and it turns out to be Brown Patch. So make sure we know what we're doing. Uh, if you have widespread problems like that or you're going to make a big application, don't waste that money uh, uh, in that application for the wrong disease. That's about it for this year for us. Uh, unless something comes up uh, on the disease front, I hope you all have a great fall. Uh, get that turf to bed in great shape and look forward to next spring. Take care.